Hi everyone, my name is Michelle and I'm Mama Loves You GB here on Flosstube and welcome along to my Advent Day 20, December the 20th. How is everybody doing? Um, big changes yesterday, I'm guessing for some of you. Um, oh, where do I start? We had a busy morning packing, getting ready to go to Mum's for Christmas. Now Mum lives in England in the Cotswolds um, and we were going to go and spend the the five days with her that we were allowed to and then bang rug pulled out from underneath our feet really um it's three and a half hours away and we, we contemplated actually just driving there for the day and driving back the day and then uh, mr drayford turned around in, in wales and said no we're on basically a level four lockdown the whole country from six o'clock tonight so um that was it game over and so the very first thing I did and I think uh, judging by the number of people that were there was I had to go and buy Christmas dinner <laughs> because we didn't have anything in so a uh, quick visit to the shops grab the bits and pieces that we need for Christmas dinner and grab the food that we're gonna need for the next week as well because we'd been sort of running our our food stocks down knowing that we were going away um, so yeah really really sad but then you know every, a lot of people are in the same boat and at least our loved ones are still here and we can visit them in the new year and not everyone can say that this year so um just got to keep our fingers crossed that uh, we can have christmas very soon i'm i'm sold my daughter on the, on the fact that we're going to have two christmases <laughs> we're going to have one christmas here with us and then at some point in the future we'll have one christmas with granny so we've just got to make the best of it and no doubt we'll end up on the beach on Christmas Day and, and it will be fine. And if it's not, then it's just a day, isn't it? But uh, yeah, I, mean, I know that will have affected a lot of people in the UK. So uh, my heart goes out to you if you've had your, had your plans blown out of the water as well. Okay, so let's get on with the business in hand. I have got some freebies. I have got thread advent. I've got some finishes. I've also got two FFOs that I've done today and a new start and I don't know why I seem to struggle with that list most days because it's been the same for the last 20 days. You thought I would have had it off that by now but no. I'm going to start with my, uh, let's start with my finishes that I did today and they're both actually in my in my little sleigh although they're probably not going to stay in there they're just sat in there for the minute so I made two little hanging pillows today and I'll show you the first one I made because then I can show you the kind of improvements that I made to the second one so this is the the first one that I made which was the little puntini puntini um, chart that I showed you yesterday the little finish that I showed you yesterday and so it is filled with walnut shells which I would say is probably not a good filler for a hanging pillow I think it's a little bit heavy I always get an itchy nose when I start talking I think it's a little bit heavy but I haven't got any sawdust so I would say sawdust or um, fibre fill combo is probably a bit better and I may I may actually open this one out and take out some of the walnut shells and put in some fibre fill just to make it a bit um, a bit lighter. And that's my back, just a gingham. Remember I was saying the other day about putting the gingham on an angle so that it doesn't matter if it's not completely straight. And talking of not completely straight, you'll notice, I don't know why I'm telling you all the flaws in this, but maybe you won't make the same mistake. My hanger is not quite in the middle. Um, it was to begin with, and actually while I was sewing it, it just it just moved. So I think in future what I would do is just put a few stitches across the, the top of the hanger before I sewed it all the way around just to stop it moving. It doesn't really matter. It's not it's not a deal breaker. I will. I'm perfectly happy with it. I can, in my display, you know, if it bothers me, I can just make it look... It'll be fine. So I've put two little jingle bells at the top on with the black velvet ribbon and there is a 2020 charm just tucked away under there so that's called you wore my heart by pantini pantini and it's just finished into a little a little hanging pillow lovely and as i said yesterday i left a good gap between my seam and the edge of my pillow so that my whole image is on the top 
of my pillow. There we go. And the other one that I finished was the little freebie from Pineberry Lane. And I also finished it as a little hanging pillow, again with walnut shells in it. And so I might just spit the bottom and, and take some of them out. But it's just finished with a little hanger and a little um, ribbon bow. And there is another 2020 charm just tucked away under there as well. And I'm really happy with that one. And it's just got a little bit of polka dot on the back. And so I just love them. They've just got such good, they're just so tactile when they've got the walnut, the walnut shells in them. And I was going to frame this one actually and I bought a distressed frame from Amazon and it wasn't cheap it was sort of about ten pounds six for a six by four frame and it came the other day and it was the biggest load of touch you've ever ever come across in your life now there's a difference between a frame that's well made and distressed and one that is just rubbish <laughs> and this is this is just rubbish um, and so it went back in the box back to Amazon quicker than than anything so um they've already given me my refund to be fair and i posted it back to them but it was oh, it was terrible terrible quality so i decided to make it into a little hanging pillow instead and i'd thought that this would probably be the last bit of finishing that i got done um this side of christmas but now we're stopping at home i might be able to get a few more things done so let's see if youtube will give me a nice little Posable picture. They never do. There we go. And those are my two finishes from today. New start. Can I show you my new start from today? I decided that I was going to start this Foxwood Crossings, the sleigh. Now I have got the bigger sleigh. I've got a little tag on it and I bought mine from Patrick Rabbit so I've got the bigger sleigh and then the other day in my haul I have the antique coloured perforated paper and I've got a little tiny start I'm holding up the white behind it so you can maybe see I've got the little tiny start so I've got a little bit of the snow down in the bottom corner there and the bottom of um, Santa's coat so I'm hoping that I will be able to get this done by Christmas um, because although it's full coverage it's not it's not going to be huge and it's quite easy stitching although it's funny because you obviously can't use the sewing method on the perforated paper and I realized that um, I'd forgotten that doing this sort of stabbing method my my thread used to loop and twist so much I'm having to sort of sew a bit and then let it dangle down to let it untwist um, and it's amazing actually with the sewing method that you don't get that you don't get the I don't get personally so many knots and twists and tangles so uh yeah it's kind of brought it all back to me with the stabbing method <laughs> okie dokie what should we do next let's do freebie let's do a freebie chart shall we and this one again is a designer that i realized i hadn't actually shown you any of their freebies for and this one is by the lovely lindy stitches and this is pumpkin spice all the things and i really like this one because i like the the lettering on it and I think it's a really, really sweet little chart. Um, you could even stitch any part of it. That little bird there would make a really nice little small. Just the the words pumpkin spice would make a really, really nice little um, little pillow for a dough bowl. So I think that is lovely. And I will, all, as always, put the link down below so that you can go and go and grab that and thread advent let's do thread advent so day 20 is that number 20 feels like it feels like it's got a thread in it Ooh. 
I realise I've made that noise 20 times so far on this series of videos. Ooh. And there we are. It's Oscar. Now, Oscar appears a lot in various different thread, uh, not threads, various different charts. So I've had that one before and I'm very pleased to have it again. So Weeks Dye Works Oscar. I should add that one to my ring, which is getting beautiful and full now. And two, again, relatively recent pass finishes. In terms of pass finishes, I was actually hoping, and I had some good news today, that my two pieces that are in for framing um, back down in the Cotswolds are finished. So I was hoping that two of my finishes would be Mary Clayton and uh, Santa's Trips all framed up. And I can't get them. <laughs> I can't get at them. So um, what I might do, my mum will go and get them for me. So what I might do is ask her to take some pictures so I can at least show you what they look like because I was hoping that they would be part of this uh, finished parade. But there we go. This is one of my quite recent finishes. It's Blackbird Designs Without a Mouse. I got my chart from Peakside Needleworks but I know they ordered it in um, so it's not one it's not ne not necessarily one that they don't normally carry but they just didn't have any in and so they ordered it in for me and I see that they're out of stock so I don't know whether they're getting more in um, if you really want it then a good idea would just to drop Sue at Peakside Needleworks a little email she's brilliant and uh, responds to you really quickly. I had a response to an email I sent the other night and she sent me an email back at half past ten at night which I thought was just beyond, you know, beyond customer service. So this is a stitch using black sulky thread. So one strand of black sulky thread which is a 12 weight thread. So it's similar to two strands of DMC. I think it's just under two strands of DMC which is why I like it on 36, because it doesn't look crowded on 36, whereas two strands of DMC can look crowded. And uh, It's called Without a Mouse, I can't remember if I said that or not, and it's on 36 count Hogs Bristle by Fox and Rabbit. So there's my finish of that one. And it's got on the back black velvet. Now I had a message earlier from Michelle from Made by Michelle McGraw and she's like oh my god I understand why you have been raving about using velvet on the back of things so this is my favourite black velvet well velvet in general but black velvet is really one of my favourite finishes for a back. <laughs> and then my other one again which if you've been with me for any length of time you will recognise um, this is is he decaying by Silver Creek Samplers and I really enjoyed stitching this one. Actually no I didn't, that's a total lie. I hated stitching this thing because I kept getting it wrong. <laughs> but I really really like how it looks and it's stitched on a piece of 32 count elixir by XDU Designs. By XDU Designs beautiful fabric to work on and I have actually got this fabric in a purple and also a yellow so I can't wait to find some more charts to put on it. I actually got Lila Studio Halloween Quaker um, and I've got the, per the piece of purple with that so you never know that might be something that I start on fairly fairly soon. So I was having a think about plans for next year, the things I want to stitch, and I would really appreciate the ability to use the hive mind if you don't mind. Um, there's two charts that I'd really like to stitch that I can't find in the UK. I can find them in America, they're not out of print, I can find them in America, but they're in two different shops and both of those shops charge like $15 um, shipping. So the two charts that I am looking for, and I'd love it if you drop me a comment if you know where they are in the UK because I've looked and I can't find them but I am looking for um, With Thy Needle and Thread Peacock Hill or Peacock Manor Hill I think it's called and I'll put a picture of it up there and the other one I'm looking for is the Mexican Band Sampler by Needlework Press so like I said they're not out of print um, but if anybody knows where in the UK 
that has got some stock of those I'd be really appreciative of knowing that sorry about that that's all for me today and uh, I look forward very much to seeing you tomorrow stay classy stitches <laughs>